हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम अमित बेलेकर फ्रॉम टिप्स अँड ट्रिक्स बाय ए एम बी वेलकम जिओ टू माय चॅनल बिफोर मुव्हिंग फर्दर इफ यू स्टील डिडंट सबस्क्राईब टू माय चॅनल प्लीज क्लिक ऑन सबस्क्राईब बटन अँड क्लिक ऑन बेल आयकॉन टू गेट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ ऑल माय न्यू व्हिडिओज टुडे इन दिस प्रेझेंटेशन वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस about last part of pharmacokinetics that is excretion of drugs after going through this video the learner will be able to define excretion of drugs and describe routes of excretion of drugs so first we are going to discuss about what is excretion excretion is the removal or elimination of systemically absorbed drug or its metabolite out of the body all the drugs administered are excreted by a route other than route of administration except volatile general anesthetics so excretion can take place mostly by the route other than route of administration but there is a exception volatile general anesthetics these are administered by respiratory tract or inhalation route and these are also eliminated from the lungs or respiratory tract now we have to discuss about routes of elimination of drugs drugs or their metabolites are eliminated by various routes like urine feces exhaled air saliva and sweat and milk so we will discuss these routes of elimination or excretion one by one first we are going to discuss about urine it is most important channel of excretion of many of the drugs kidney is primary organ for excretion of all water soluble substances here you can see nephron this is baumann's capsule this is tubular portion of the nephron in baumann's capsule enters the afferent arteriole it divides and subdivides to form glomerulus and again reunite to form efferent arteriole which then again divide and subdivide to form peritubular capillary network the amount of drug or its metabolites ultimately present in urine is amount of drug entering the tubules from glomerular filtration minus amount of drug absorbed by tubular reabsorption from the tubules to the blood plus amount of drug actively secreted from blood to the tubules so we will discuss these three processes one by one how these processes can affect the rate of elimination of drugs first we are going to discuss about glomerular filtration glomerular capillaries have pores larger than usual capillaries all unbound that is free drug enters in glomerular filtrate and bound drug remains in the blood does glomerular filtration of drug depends on its plasma protein binding and renal blood flow if drug is highly protein bound less amount of drug reaches in the glomerular filtrate also less renal blood flow decreases rate of elimination of the drugs next part is tubular reabsorption tubular reabsorption means reentry of drug back into the systemic circulation this depends on lipid solubility and ionization of the drug at the existing urinary ph so ph of urine plays a very very important role in tubular reabsorption of the drugs lipid soluble drugs or unionized drugs filtered at the glomeruli diffuses back in the capillaries but non lipid soluble and highly ionized drugs are unable to do so 
सो चेंजेस इन यूरिनरी पी एच अफेक्ट ट्यूबुलर रे एब्सॉर्प्शन ऑफ द ड्रग्स दैट आर पार्शली आयनाइज बिकॉज देयर आयनाइजेशन डिपेंड्स अपॉन द पी एच ऑफ यूरिन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वीक बेसिस रिमेन अनआयनाइज और रिमेन मोर लिपिड सोल्यूबल एट बेसिक पी एच एंड दे आर इजिली री एब्सॉर्ब इन टू द सर्क्युलेशन वाइल दीज वीक बेसिस आयनाइज मोर एंड बिकम लेस लिपिड सोल्यूबल इन एसिडिक यूरिन एंड दीज आर लेस री एब्सॉर्ब एंड एलिमिनेटेड थ्रू द यूरिन इजिली सिमिलरली वीक एसिड्स रिमेन अनआयनाइज और मोर लिपिड सोल्यूबल एट एसिडिक पी एच एंड इजिली री एब्सॉर्ब इन टू द सर्क्युलेशन वाइल दे आयनाइज मोअर और बिकम लेस लिपिड सोल्यूबल एट बेसिक पी एच एंड दे आर लेस री एब्सॉर्ब एंड रिमेन इन द यूरिन फॉर एलिमिनेशन इन हायर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सो दिस फेनामिना इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ पॉइजन If poison is acidic in nature, then to improve its excretion, urine should be made alkaline. And if poison is basic in nature, then to improve its excretion, urine should be made acidic. So that is the effect of urinary pH on the elimination of the substances. Now next we have to discuss about tubular secretion. Active secretion means active transport of drug from blood capillaries into the renal tubules is called as tubular secretion. This may decrease the concentration of free drug in the blood. Then to attain equilibrium, bound drug dissociates from the protein and becomes free. And this released free drug again actively transported into the renal tubules. Thus tubular secretion helps in the process of elimination of drugs drugs excreted through urine are penicillin morphine meperidine salicylates phenylbutazone digoxin and many drugs are eliminated from the urine now next route of elimination is feces an absorbed fraction of orally administered drug is eliminated through the feces along with an absorbed drug other drugs and their metabolites can enter into the intestine through bile and excrete through the feces liver actively transport drug into bile by forming organic acid by conjugation reactions relatively larger molecules are eliminated through the bile and ultimately they are eliminated through the feces Examples of the drugs which are eliminated by feces are erythromycin, ampicillin, rifampicin, tetracycline, etc. Next route of elimination is exhaled air. Gases and volatile liquids like general anesthetic, paraldehyde and alcohol are eliminated by lungs. We can determine smell of alcohol in the person who drinks alcohol in his exhaled air transfer of gas or vapor in alveoli mostly depends upon its partial pressure in the blood now next route of elimination is saliva and sweat these are minor routes of drug elimination or drug excretion lithium potassium iodide thiocyanates rifampicin and heavy metals are present in these secretions most of the saliva along with drug in it is swallowed and it meets same fate as orally taken drug last but not least route of elimination is milk some drugs are excreted through the milk it will not play any important role in mother but it is dangerous for suckling infant as he receives the drug in high concentration most drugs enter the breast milk by passive diffusion mechanism milk has somewhat lower ph than the plasma and hence basic drugs are somewhat more concentrated 
in the milk. It is advisable to administer any drug to a lactating woman only when it is essential. Otherwise, mostly drugs should be avoided by lactating woman. Now it's time to summarize. In today's video, we had discussed about excretion of drugs and we had discussed in details about various routes of excretion of drugs. Thank you for listening me patiently. If you like this presentation, please click on subscribe button and bell icon to get notification of further videos. Like it and share it to your dear ones. If you have any queries, write me on my mail address which is given in the video. Thank you once again.